Prolactin is secreted by the pituitary gland and prolactinoma is a benign tumor or adenoma of the pituitary gland that secretes excess prolactin. The pituitary gland is composed of two morphologically and functionally distinct components, the anterior lobe and the posterior lobe. In the anterior pituitary, there are many different types of cells, each responsible for producing a type of hormone. One group of cells in the anterior pituitary are called lactotrophs, and they secrete prolactin. Prolactin stimulates breast milk production. Another group of cells are the gonadotrophs, and they secrete two gonadotropic hormones, luteinizing hormone, or LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, both of which stimulate the ovaries in women, which make estrogen, and stimulate the testes in men, which make testosterone. There are two regulatory parts from the hypothalamus, one inhibitory and the other stimulatory for the secretion of prolactin. In persons who are not pregnant or lactating, prolactin secretion is tonically inhibited by dopamine from the hypothalamus, and the hypothalamus also makes thyrotropin-releasing hormone, which increases prolactin release. In women, prolactinoma can cause galacteria, which is lactation despite a lack of pregnancy. Also, prolactin inhibits gonadotropic-releasing hormone secretion from the hypothalamus. Normally, gonadotropin-releasing hormone acts on the anterior pituitary to make follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, or FSH and LH. So, decreasing gonadotropic-releasing hormone leads to reduced FSH and LH secretion by the pituitary. Elevated prolactin can thus cause diminished libido and irregular menses in women, Elevated prolactin can cause impotence, infertility, decreased libido, and sometimes gynecomastia in men. The diagnosis of a prolactinoma is typically based on elevated levels of prolactin in the blood. Sometimes there's also excess thyrotropin-releasing hormone, which may be stimulating the pituitary gland to secrete prolactin. Often, an MRI can be done to visualize the prolactinoma and classify it based on size. To treat prolactinomas, you can use medication or chop it out surgically. Since dopamine inhibits prolactin release, a clever way to treat it medically is with dopamine agonists, like bromocryptin and cabergolin can be used to inhibit prolactin release. Surgery is usually only considered for individuals with macroprolactinomas or in individuals who fail medical therapy. If complete resection of the prolactinoma is not possible or if prolactin levels remain elevated after surgery, radiation therapy can sometimes be useful. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.